If you are on at least iOS 17.4 or iOS 18 or even iOS 26 and want to enable on device JIT using an App Store app, which requires no jailbreak, then continue watching this video. For this demonstration, I will be using SideStore, but you can use other signing tools like AltStore, Sideloadly, which uses your Apple ID to sign IPA files. And another app which we require is StickDebug app, which you can install from App Store. Once the app is installed, launch the app and do the usual VPN setup as shown on the video. But to complete the setup of StickDebug, we require a pairing file. So to get the pairing file, head over to your computer and it can be Linux, Mac or Windows. In my case, I will use a Windows computer. Launch any web browser of your choice and type iDevice Pair GitHub or I will leave all the links in the description. Click on the first link and when you are on the GitHub page, navigate to the releases section. And if you have an iPhone 17 or 17 Air, you must download from this section only. Otherwise, download from the latest release under Assets section, download the file as per your device. As I have a Windows computer, therefore, I am downloading the .exe file. Once the same is downloaded successfully, just install iDevice Pair, like any other program, and grant permissions to anything it asks for. It may ask to grant permission to access the network, so do grant the permission. This is how iDevice Pair looks like. Now, connect your iOS device to the computer. Also make sure the iOS device is not locked, and the screen is on. And iDevice Pair should recognize your iOS device. Also, all these three conditions must be met, as indicated by green fonts. Now finally, click on Generate. And in few seconds, the pairing file will be generated. And if you notice, you will see SideStore and StickDebug's name appearing. It's because I have already installed these two apps in my iOS device. Finally just click on Install for both SideStore and StickDebug. Even if you have already set up SideStore before, it's a must to reinstall the pairing file in SideStore. Once successfully installed in both the app, the work is done here. Now let's move to our iOS device. Launch SideStore app and navigate to settings. Now simply log in with your Apple ID and password. And the first time when you log into SideStore, it's a must to refresh SideStore. So to refresh SideStore, you will need either StickDebug or Stow's VPN, but as we need to enable JIT, we will use StickDebug to refresh SideStore. So to enable StickDebug VPN, Go to the Settings app and navigate to General and to VPN and Device Management, tap on VPN and make sure that StickDebug is appearing here. Enable the VPN. And now go back to SideStore and simply refresh the app. As you can see, the app is getting refreshed now. Meanwhile, if you are still with me, please do subscribe to my channel as it will really help me motivate me making more such videos. Now that the app is refreshed, let's enable JIT in Target app. For this video, the Target app I will use is Pojav Launcher. Let's launch Pojav Launcher. As you can see, it's checking on JIT. And you will get a pop-up, informing that JIT is not enabled for the device. So to enable JIT, first make sure that StickDebug VPN is turned on. If not, the enable it from iOS settings. Next launch StickDebug app, tap on Connect by app. Next, tap on this icon here, to enable performance mode. Now tap on Pojav Launcher, which is our target app and the app will automatically open, enabling JIT, upon launch of the target app. And as you can see, JIT is successfully enabled. But please note, that if you force close the target app, it will lose JIT. And you would have to re-enable JIT. As you can see, JIT is lost in Pojav Launcher. What's really commendable, that it can even run on airplane mode. Even with the airplane mode turned on, I can use StickDebug app, to enable JIT effortlessly. And as you can see, I have turned on airplane mode, and have disconnected the internet. And yet, I am able to enable JIT in Pojav Launcher. And for iOS 26 JIT compatibility, so far, these are the supported apps as of now, but it may support more in future. Now if you wish to downgrade to iOS 18, without data loss, watch my next video.